Today is an exciting day because all the concrete tanks that we built are actually getting a makeover. And this is the first step in the process of making this look amazing. This is what they call a scratch layer. It's basically like if you do pottery, where you scratch the outside of the pottery so that everything sticks. That's basically what's happening here, inside and outside. So that way, as they're doing their theming, all the naturalistic rocks actually has something to stick onto. This is step number one. My buddy Jeff from Pondering Water is coming back to work on the filtration for the koi pond here because we have to have all that filtration in so that when they're doing the scratch layer and then ultimately they're theming, that they can theme around all the piping to hide it as best he can. So he's gonna come, get the biofall, run the piping that's right here, and then ultimately that's gonna run the weeping wall and all the water changes and stuff like that. He's gotta get that done before they get on to scratching this one out. In each one of these enclosures, of course the stingray enclosure, the, the predator saltwater, the predator freshwater, every single enclosure is gonna look completely different. There's gonna be different theming on each one of them. And over the next few weeks, we're gonna see that theming come to life and it's gonna be so incredible. Here's the deal. We have a delivery driver, but there's no one here with, that knows how to do a high-low, except for Misty Mike, hopefully. So I have to call him. He says he's forklift certified. Let's find out. Connie, what are you doing? Checking turtles. How's that one look? I'm, I'm hungry. Relax, bro. Hang on, I got a call. Oh, it's Tomsky. Oh, hello. Hey, why don't you come over to uh, Legacy real quick? We need your help. You need me to do what? You said you're a forklift certified, right? Hmm? Give me a minute, I'm on my way. Uh, what are we on our way for? Oh God, Mike. Let's hope he didn't lie on his resume and he's actually forklift certified. What's Brian up? said to get you. What? For what? There's a delivery here and somebody needs to hilo it off the thing, but there's no one here to hilo it but you. What? Are you are you scared? No. Now I'm a little scared. <laughs> are you visualizing your victory? I just it gives me great joy to be able to do this again. <laughs> oh no. Oh he's Oh, this is no brainer? Yeah. Okay. This is literally what I grew up on. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> What's going on, Jeff? Hey, What's how up, are you? brother? How are you, brother? Good. How are you doing today? Doing all right, man. Good. So uh, so it's fitting that you would show up uh, <laughs> with some fitting. Yeah. <laughs> this is Jeff, by the way. He, he said all his stuff in here now. Yeah. You want it in here, right? Yeah. You set it in however you want, and we'll just go around. Just... Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's great. Everyone's on the same page now. Jeff can get in here. So I just love Koi. So I'm super excited about this enclosure. And without Jeff, I don't know what I'd do. And he's going to be helping with a whole bunch of stuff. You'll be seeing him around too. Go show him some love with Pondering Water. That's some plumbing That's right That's good. There. You think yeah. this will all be okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Billy? <laughs> Billy the Frilly is absolutely amazing. I love frill dragons. Of course, this is actually an Australian. Frill dragon there. Look, propped up on you. What an absolutely amazing animal. You know, the one thing that's kind of crazy is that it's just so busy over at the Legacy. I don't get a chance to spend as much time with the animals here as I used to, which kind of stinks. And you know, it's one thing to kind of see all the scratching going on and all that. I'm telling you, tomorrow starts the real stuff. I mean, when you start to see them artistically build this out of cement, and I don't even know how they do it. I mean, it's crazy to take like just cement crawls and stuff like that and create just amazing things. I mean, you know, literally making trees and rocks and vines and stuff like that just out of concrete. I mean, it's truly artistic that they can do that. And Ahmed's team is really pretty incredible. I mean, they've done like Mandalay Bay, they've done Legoland, all kinds of stuff all over the place. It's just cool to take a break from the legacy, get back over here to the Reptarium for a little bit. Oh my days. Where's this going? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, inside. Ugh. Mr. Bra, perfect timing. I'm so scared, dude. He's doing a great job. Don't let me be scared for you. Yeah. <laughs> I did say he's a high-low certified driver. He's proven it. Takes me back, you know, back when I was a uh, wee little lad driving four trucks every day.
we have three enclosures done. It kind of almost looks like a, uh, a wedding cake. <laughs> we have four more enclosures to go. That's the finish. It's ready for paint. Just paint it up. Paint it up, man. That's good. Throw fish in tomorrow. So, Jeff, how's it looking over here? It's coming together? Looking good. Cool. So, we've got this pipe here in the back. It's going to feed the water bottle. The water bottle falls. Yep. falls. And then it comes out here. And this pump will actually also feed the weeping wall. The weeping wall, correct. And then we have our unions that I put in there as well. So, if, we uh, so if you ever have to replace a pump, everything's you know, easy to get, get back on. Yeah. Exactly. Now the hard part, guys. Uh, Mike has to make it over this area here that just has plywood. You can see it's already breaking up. And this Hilo is thousands of pounds. He's got a pallet over here. We have to somehow make it across this chasm and then get it over to here just to get it in because I'm not sure it's in this. It's all filtration stuff for Bashy. So I'm assuming it's really expensive and also you don't want it to be outside. So uh, we'll see how Mike does. It wasn't that bad, it just makes a lot of noise. And the guys are here working on the fire suppression. So basically in the back of the building, you could see the old style was actually where it actually was down and it would spray that way. Well, the new code is to actually have them spray up so it just covers a bigger area. So from here back, they just basically have to flip all the nozzles up. But from here over, they're gonna replace everything to the front of the building, including into the gift shop area. Cause again, the gift shop didn't even exist before we started the building. So they're gonna basically 90 these all the way up to the ceiling so they're not kind of intrusive, run them over and then run into the gift shop. Yeah. It's a lot but of work. fire suppression is so important. I mean, if anything ever goes wrong, we definitely don't want the place to burn down. And we're having a little meeting with Ahmed and yeah, Steve and Lori so that we can get on the same page with the theme. That way everybody knows what's actually going on as far as theme. It's a big step and this is gonna make or break the entire place. It has to look incredible. So it's not really a rock structure. It's almost yeah. like one big rock. I wonder what Mike just got called away for. Um, he, he went away for a while. I haven't seen him. I wonder what he's doing. So sketchy. I can't wait till we get the cement back in here. <laughs> this is my girl Bella. Bella, you want? You want some? What some? Come here. You want it? <laughs> there you go, girl. Bella just wants pets, to be honest, and that's what I always talk about with Bella that's so amazing is that she'll forego food just for pets, and that's kind of an interesting thing. You don't think of reptiles that way, right? That they're so emotional that they're like, hey, I'll literally not take a treat, and she loves super worms. She's like, I just want to get some attention and affection, which is amazing. And you know, she's going to stay here at this reptile. Diddy and Dixie will go across the street, and that's going to be cool. We were just talking about it yesterday about like the day that we start to move animals across the street, or the day that we get a big fish shipment. I mean, that's when it's going to get really exciting. And we're not that far off. I mean, yeah, we've got a lot of work to do, but here in the next two, two and a half months, probably we'll be in a position to start moving some animals. But again, Bella stays here because she's such a peculiar animal. I think if we moved her, it'd be way too much stress for her. So uh, we'll keep her here. And that way people that come to do private events can actually enjoy her as much as I do. Where the heck is Mike? It's been like an hour. I don't know where he is. I'm working here all by myself. This is not okay. Put it right in front of this one instead of the side so we're not blocking the whole aisle. Mike did it. Not too bad, to be honest with you. A lot better than I would have done. So, uh, see, he's not just a snake poop cleaner. Good job, dude. Oh, I'm so sweaty. You know, that, it was a little scary, huh? Yeah, I don't know what's on those pellets. Not only that, but this thing is ridiculous. Yeah, dude. whoever built this, you need some new uh, construction work. I'm all done. No. Easy peasy. What, what did you do? So you got, okay, so you had all this hooked up, now you hooked the flex pipe. We're connected to our biofalls right now. So we went flex. Just so we have the ability to move it a little bit if Brian wants to. Then we also have adjustability on all of our plumbing. That way, every single aspect of this is adjustable. So now the themers are able to come in here and do their work. They can come in and do their job. Great job, Jeff. Connie, what's up, dude? There you are. You should have seen me across the street, dude. Unloaded stuff. Got the things going over Death Valley. Dude. Legit. Forklift on a forklift? On a forklift. That's not that big of a deal. It is. 
Okay. I'll show you how a real forklift, <laughs> a real forklift, a real forklift certified person does. Well, you were playing with Tonka trucks. I was doing the real deal. I'm just forklift certified. You're not. <laughs> so uh, that's how it's done, Mike. I don't want you to feel pretty intimidated right now because I know I'm a girl and you can learn a thing or two from me. <laughs> <laughs> it only took her 20 minutes. They're just finishing up the Predator saltwater tank and the last tank they have to scratch is actually the Stingray tank, but tomorrow they're actually gonna start theming this enclosure. You can see this is already dry right here. So they can start coming in. There's gonna be like boulders, rock trees that are coming out of the water. They're gonna start tomorrow. It's gonna take them a few days to finish this tank, but in the next few days, this Predator fish tank is gonna be good to go as far as the theming goes. Then we just have to have filtration and add water and then fish. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, can you give me a line to saying?